Hi YouTubers, welcome back to another video here on the Snowy Valley's Division Layout. And today we have a product review on the recently released Walther's Proto uh, Union Pacific Heritage Fleet in HO scale. And as you can see, we already have a few of these cars opened up. Um, obviously, beginning with this baggage car of which there are four variations of cars uh, that Walthers have released one being uh, baggaged, another being a uh, uh, 44 seater coach you know those you know coaches for seating uh, then we have our dino cars and then lastly we have our famous dome liners um, all of these cars are very well built and detailed uh, we have things such as our grab irons, which are separately applied. Uh, really good detailing on our bogies. Uh, undercarriage uh, detailings, as you can see. Uh, we have metal wheels. Uh, very, very good when it comes to rolling. Um, as you can see, the paint scheme is very well executed. Uh, the colours are very good. Um, in the sense of being uh, prototypically accurate as far as I know um, Then we got uh, so little molded details such as rivets uh, Things as such we have uh, windows in plastic um, At our couplers we have uh, metal knucklehead couplers on either end um, Just yeah overall really good details all of these cars have around the same uh, detailing uh, and also, these cars come in two uh, different varieties. Uh, our standard uh, coming without lights, and obviously our uh, other uh, car coming with uh, lit interiors. Uh, all of our cars are lit on the inside, and so, you know, it's great to have uh, that LED lighting on the inside. It adds detail, uh, shows off the in interior of these cars. Uh, very well, really good for running in darker uh, lighting, obviously. And so we're very happy to have all of these cars in a lit format. And so, of these cars, I'll just give a little show of uh, the dyno here. We have two chimneys. Uh, we have some grills here for your air conditioning. You know, things as such, these are very, very well detailed. Uh, not to the quality of companies such as Rapido, uh, to say. Uh, they do, I think, in my opinion, the best uh, detailing when it comes to passenger cars especially. Uh, but while those do a pretty good job, uh, especially when it comes to pricing, uh, these are about, I think, $80 uh, US. And so, obviously, not the cheapest in the world, but pretty good for what they offer. And obviously, this being the lit version... I think it's a little more expensive, uh, maybe $5 on average or so, uh, but very, very good cars. And so we'll quickly do an unboxing of another car we have set to the side. Uh, overall, we have, I believe, around 10 cars, I think, just around there. And we have a few more coming in the mail. And so now we'll move on to opening one of the boxes. Uh, here we'll be opening up the Colorado Eagle uh, Dome Liner. As you can see, a nice packaging, uh, good cardboard box. Here we have our Walther's Proto up there. Uh, on the back of the box we have description uh, from Walther's, what they do. Um, you know, pretty uh, standard stuff. Then we have our description sticker of the car Union Pacific Heritage City uh, series uh, in the Colorado Eagle car 8004 so now uh, these cars you simply pull out the tab and that comes out and then it should slide out there uh, on the inside of the box we have two items 
One being our warranty information uh, from Walther's, and the other being a exploded diagram on one side. As you can see, getting the light, all the little parts, and then the other side coming with a description of the car and more uh, images of the car and what they include. Alright, so that's all well and good. Uh, moving on to the car itself. It comes in a nice uh, plastic casing with a pull tab uh, or plug uh, plastic cover here. Pretty simple, uh, but definitely does the job when it comes to protection, especially in the mail. As we live in Australia, it's quite the distance to ship something from the US. So here's our car. It comes with two uh, plastic, plastic films uh, for added protection. There. And simply we'll pull it out. And obviously we have our car. And I've already run over the details these cars come in. And yeah, overall sturdy car, really well. Uh, when it comes uh, to detail for price, I would say. And so, yeah, we'll get this on the track now, uh, give it a run around, uh, see how it goes, and then we'll wrap up the video.
So that wraps up our review and unboxing on the Waldo's Proto Heritage Fleet cars. Uh, overall for us, we found they run pretty good. Uh, the detailing's pretty decent. Obviously, it's not up there with a manufacturer such as Rapido, who do really, really good detailing for their passenger cars in particular. Uh, but certainly for the value and their pricing, we find they're pretty good. Uh, obviously, this being the second run, there's a few upgrades uh, from the previous run, of which being, I believe, LED lighting. Uh, so, as you've seen, they look pretty good uh, on the track, especially with our big boy. Um, these cars suit our, our liking, as we love our Uni Pacific here, and certainly having a Heritage Fleet uh, uh, train definitely uh, really fits with us. So, um, other than that, everything's pretty good with these cars. They are obviously being a bit longer, they don't run so well on our curves. Uh, so there's only that little issue for us in particular. Uh, but for everyone else, if you have larger curves, these cars run really, really well. And so, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, give us a like, comment your opinions down below. And if you're new around here, subscribe, uh, watch any of our other videos or reviews. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.